We are going to compare the building of the report you see on the screen in both Microsoft's Management Reporter and Jet Reports, a Microsoft Excel add-on. In Management Reporter, reports are built using rows, columns, and trees. In this video, we'll focus on building rows. We'll start slowly, walking through the steps, then we'll speed up the video Use an actual stopwatch to show the time so we can see which product is faster and easier to use. If you are an FRX user, you'll be able to follow along applying FRX to the comparison as Management Reporter and FRX use the same concepts. Because Jet Reports does not use a row component, reports are built as a whole. We'll simply add the GL account number and the corresponding account descriptions in JET. We'll also be adding the row headers, lines, and subtotals for each product. On the right side of the screen is Management Reporter. On the left side, Excel with JET Reports installed. When I click on the menu option JET, the JET ribbon appears. We'll be using the same GP database on the same machine at the same time for this comparison. Let's begin in Management Reporter. As you can see, I'm already in the row definition. I'll click on New to begin building the row component. I'll start by entering the row header for the Sales section. I'll change the formatting for this row to the predefined format named Column Header. I'll define the row format code as Description. Now let's create the row header for the Sales section in Jet Reports. I'll enter the word sales in cell D9. This is Excel, so I could use any formatting available within Excel. As I did in Management Reporter, I'll use the Excel predefined cell styles, but I'll make this font bold so it's easier to read. Besides, the blue matches our logo. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and use the Copy Format tool to add this same formatting to the next four columns which will eventually become the account description, two companies, and the consolidation of the two companies. Now let's add the GL account numbers that represent sales to both products. We'll start with Management Reporter. From the menu, I'll choose Edit, then Insert Rows. Although both products will allow for the accounts to be entered individually, grouped in a single line, or by category, for this comparison, I'll utilize the feature that allows for rows of accounts to be created by each product. I want the full account to display, so I'll change the Management Reporter window to show all divisions and departments by adding hooks to these segments. Now all three segments have hooks, so the full account number will display. Notice categories can be used to create rows from this window as well. For the main segment, I'll enter the sales account range of 4,000 to 4,500, and I'll click OK. All the GL accounts in this range appear on a separate row with the account description. By scrolling to the right, I can see the full account number in column J. The number in this column is displayed by defining each account segment, providing for the full account number. Now let's extract the sales from GP into JET. On the Excel menu, I'll select JET, and I'll use a JET function named GL. The GL function connects to the general ledger in my GP. The JET function wizard will open, providing me with a fill-in-the-blank experience. In the WHERE field, I'll select ROW, which will create a separate row for every sales account number. In the WHAT field, I'll select ACCOUNTS. As I just mentioned, I want to create a separate row for every sales account. With the first two fields populated, I can enter the criteria for which accounts I want to include. As I mentioned earlier, I could select individual accounts or a range of accounts using the drop-down list. My GP has 10 segments allowed, so I can enter criteria for any of these segments or a combination of these segments. I can even select by the GL account category. I'll scroll down to segment 2, which is my main account, using the same main account numbers as I did in Management Reporter, 4,000 to 4,500. I'll then click OK. Only the first account number appears in the Excel worksheet while I'm designing, but when I display JET in Report Mode, I'll see 
all the accounts in my range. When the focus is on cell D10, I can see the JetGL function or formula display in the formula bar. Now let's add the description. On the Jet ribbon, I'll once again select the GL function. This time in the WHERE clause, I'll select Cell. This will display the description in every cell to the right of a row where the account number exists. In the WHAT field, I'll select the account name or description. On the account field, I'll reference the cell where I entered the GL function for the account number. I'll then use the F4 hotkey shortcut to make the column for the account number always be column D, and then I'll click OK to close the function window. Now that I've begun using JET functions, in cell A1, the JET keywords auto plus hide have been added. The hide keyword indicates that column A and row 1 will be hidden. I like to make hidden columns and rows bright yellow so I know which cells will show in the completed reports and which cells I can use for hidden formulas and functions. I'll go ahead and take advantage of using the JET feature of automatically sizing columns to the longest cell by entering the word fit in the hidden row of each column that will be used. I'll now click on refresh to extract data from my GP company displaying sales account numbers and descriptions. Now I see all the sales accounts, just like we saw in Management Reporter. Before we move to the next step, I'll put the JET report back in design mode. In Management Reporter, let's add a line after the last account of the sales section. Now let's create the total sales line. I'm going to format the sales line the same as I did the section header earlier. Now I'll set the format code to display this as a total or sum. To define the total, I'll need to know the rows I want to sum. I usually start with the header row and end with the line code to ensure I include any new accounts that get added. This formula will be row 100 to 1720. Management Reporter uses the colon to represent all accounts in between and including. Let's perform this same action using JET reports. To format the sales line, I'll copy the formatting from header using cut and paste. I'll then enter in cell D12 to read total sales. Column F will eventually display sales from company A called Fabricam. Column G will display sales from company B called Gabricam. Finally, column H will display the sales from both companies. Since I'm in design mode, I'll manually resize these columns. To create the total column, I'll use the standard Excel sum formula that can be located on the home ribbon. I'll then copy the sum formula to columns G and H as well. I'll quickly format the columns to currency, and the totals are completed. You'll notice I left a blank row between the account number and the total line. The SUM formula will grab all the rows created by the JET function, which are populated above the blank row. If the SUM only included row 10, then even in report mode, the total would display only the SUM of row 10. I can easily hide the blank row, though. But first, I'm going to highlight column B, as I would be hiding this column as well. In cell B1, I'll enter hide plus question mark. Then, in column B, for the blank row, I'll simply enter the word hide. Let's refresh against GP and look at the report in report mode. I still see all the account numbers, but now I see the total line, but not the blank line. A few items worth noting, based on the work we've done so far. Number one, while building my report in JET, I can preview the report and see if the formatting and formulas are working as I want. In Management Reporter, you cannot see your work in preview mode without assigning the row format to an actual report. Number two, if a new account is added to GP, the account number will need to be added to the report in Management Reporter. I have to find where I want to include the new account number, right mouse click, insert a row, and then I have to manually enter the missing account number. New or missing account numbers is something that I must keep an eye on in Management Reporter. 
Duplicated accounts are even a possibility in Management Reporter. In Jet Reports, the account numbers are updated each time we refresh against our GP data. The only way I could miss account numbers in Jet is if I do not account for all possible account numbers, meaning I enter the ranges incorrectly. Number three, in Management Reporter, I must have a C in the Normal Balance column to reverse the sign. In reports, credit balances show as negatives and debit balances show as positives. Since sales have a credit balance, we'll need to reverse the sign so they show as positives, as credit balances in sales are a good thing. I'll copy the C in column F for all sales account rows rather than manually editing each row. In JET, we'll handle the sign reversing in the column comparison video. Number four, we can use the Excel copy and paste feature to make completing the row formatting easier. Although we can copy and paste some in Management Reporter, there isn't as much opportunity to use it as there is in Excel. Some of the steps we've done so far might have taken slightly longer in JET, but utilizing copy and paste for the rest of the rows will make JET building a lot faster than Management Reporter. Let's work on completing the rest of the row formatting now. We'll continue by entering the cost of goods sold. Note the video is now displaying four times faster than the steps are actually occurring. I'll start in Management Reporter, entering the header, accounts, and total. The range account I'm using is 4501 to 4999, which ensures all accounts with main segments that start with a four will appear on the report. I'm also copying the sales total row to save time on formatting in Management Reporter. In Jet Reports, I'll copy all the rows I created for the sales section and paste them below so I can edit them to be used for cost of goods sold. I can highlight a Jet function on a field and reopen the Jet function wizard for easy edits, like changing the GL account segment range. Finally, I'll save the row in Management Reporter and on the Excel JET worksheet. Now that we have our sales and cost of goods sold completed, we could add our gross profit. In Management Reporter, we can change the row numbers to be names to make the rows easier to manage. This is particularly helpful when there are so many rows visible. I'll change the row code for total sales from 1750 to sales and I'll change the cost of goods sold from 2770 to COGS for cost of goods sold. I'll copy the formatting for the total cost of goods sold and rename the description to gross profit. After editing the format code to TOT, I'll enter the formula sales minus cost of goods sold. Now let's create gross margin in Jet Reports. I'll copy the total cost of goods sold row and paste it editing the description to gross margin. Then I'll create a simple Excel formula that uses the sell sum and subtracts the cost of goods sold sum, all using cell references. After completing one column, I'll copy paste to the other company. I'll leave the combined column as being the addition of gross margin for both companies. Looking back at the sample of the report we want to create, the next section is the expense section. As we work on the expense section in each product, let's add a stopwatch and I'll speed up the video. In Management Reporter, I'll use copy and paste for the header, but the remaining columns I'll have to perform the same steps as I did for the two previous sections. For expenses, we'll use the natural account range of $5,000 to $89.99. We do not have any posting accounts that start with nine, and accounts that start with one, two, and three are balance sheet accounts. The natural account range is segment two in our companies. I'm going to add the net profit line to each product, which is going to be gross margin minus total expenses. Since some other income accounts may fall into my expense category, I need to make sure that the sign does not get reversed so they'll add properly. Management reporter time is two minutes and 51 seconds. On to the steps in JET reports. In JET, I'll copy the cost of goods sold section and the gross margin row. I'll change the descriptions of the headers and total lines. 
I'll edit the account numbers being pulled from the GP. And finally, I'll edit the formula for the net margin to be gross margin minus expense. As you can see, Jet Reports finished the same task in one minute and 11 seconds. That is almost two and a half times faster than using Management Reporter. This concludes the row definition comparison. Next up, the column definition comparison.